I'm going to show you how I clip my English Angora rabbits. I use an Oster A5 clipper. And before you get started, you'll need to get everything out that you're going to need. And I use a rubber back rug to lay on the table so that he doesn't slip around. I have a container that I use to put the wool that I'm cutting off of him. I have a rake that I rake, rake on his hair. This, this is a matter that you can take off any mats that he might have. A fine tooth metal comb. I also, in case it has any mats close to the skin, I use a seam ripper. That way it helps keep from cutting his skin. I use blunt end scissors. And while you're trimming them, it's a good time to trim their toenails as well. Now to get started, I'm going to lubricate with some lubricating oil on my clippers. Put a little blow of it across there. And then just turn it on. Let it work in. So we get everything out, get everything ready, and then we get our rabbit. Now this is Coco, and I wanted to show him to you. About a month ago, I clipped his hair with the clippers, and it's starting to grow back in nicely. As you see, it's all nice and even. Coco was our grand champion in the local county 4-H fair last year. As you can see, he's very well clean. He has no mats anywhere, and he's in good shape. This is Fudge, and she has a full coat. She's starting to shed, so she's needing some of this all cut off of her. She has a small mat right here in front. So we're just going to take our scissors, and we're just going to clip that in little clips until we get it off. We can use the mat. combed out, get any more combed out of her, and she has quite, quite a bit, so she may have several mats within her fur. Now, first thing we're going to do is she's never been clipped before, so we want to get her used to the sound of the clipper. We're just going to rub it the sound in the field. We're just going to rub it along her and let her feel that vibration and hear that sound until she sort of becomes so she's not scared of it. We're just going to rub it along. She seems to be quite comfortable, even though she's never heard it before. She's quite comfortable with it, it seems like. So we're going to get ready to start trimming her. I'm going to get my container up here where I can easily put the wool that I cut in it. I'm going to hold her ears gently at the base. And I'm just going to work my way through, a little at a time. Long, so you can't do a a lot at it one time. And she's taking it nicely. She's letting me do it. She take out a little bit and then go back and get some more later. Trim her up nice. Every now and then you just shut it off. Clear it out. Get your wool. Put it in a container. 
And as you can see, it's starting to clip down. And keep your wool coming down to your blades. And it, it's going to take quite a while to get her done. If you run into any match, you can stop, take those out. Just kind of glide it along. You can quite a bit of it. Stop and break it out. And here is a little bit of matting, so the clippers don't want to cut that quite as well. We may clip that with the with the scissors when we run into that. thick in there. So here she is, all done. She's pretty nice. In a few weeks she'll be starting to grow out again and she'll look nice and smooth and her fur will be in good shape again. And she'll be ready then. She'll have her coat back and she'll be ready for winter.